Just wanted to share a quick tip on uh, ZBrush DynaMesh and Polygroups. Uh, something I learned today, uh, it's uh, actually quite useful, helpful thing. So oftentimes when sculpting, I, I use a lot of DynaMeshing. And uh, most of the time when you DynaMesh, the Polygroups get preserved. But every once in a while you re and Polygroups are gone. And uh, it's a tragedy because polygroups are super useful in uh, ZBrush workflow. Um, so today I learned why. Uh, I just always assumed that maybe there's an issue with the topology or something that prevents ZBrush from pre preserving polygroups. But apparently, if you have colorize on under polypaint, it overrides your polygroups. So let's illustrate this. You can see here I have uh, two polygroups, I read Dynamesh. Polygroups are preserved. I enable colorize for DynaMesh. Polygroups are gone. So the reason, uh, and it makes sense. You know, the reason it's set up this way is so if you have a textured model that you textured with polypaint, you don't want to lo lose your polypaint da data. Uh, but what would happen for me is um, I have my nicely polygrouped uh, object, and I'm sculpting, and I'm grabbing a brush that has RGB on with a little bit of color by accident. And the moment I draw something, uh, one sec, so typically it's like no color and then brush with RGB, uh, the colorize gets enabled. And, you know, I don't keep track of this. I don't look at colorize button. So I just like, oh crap, and do, or I just fill object with white and I continue working. But then during my next redynamesh, Obviously, my polygroups are gone. So keep an eye on colorize. Make sure it's off if you want your polygroups uh, preserved. And uh, yeah, I, I hope I hope you learned from this. Uh, this was uh, this blew my mind today, and uh, I hope it did uh, for you too. <laughs> uh, have a good one. See you next time.